Hi, it's me, Asim. It is the end of the semester. Wow. <laughs> and today I am going to reflect on the course WCS 240 and tell you everything that I've learned throughout this course during this semester and basically share my experience whether I liked it and how I liked it. So stay tuned. First of all, we created our own website. I learned how to create blog posts and also about the types of the videos, such as digital narrative. Since it is the first video project, I learned about making the video, shooting different angles, experimenting, and most importantly, telling the story. We also tried to create public service announcement, and in my case, it was about binge eating disorder. If for digital narrative, we had to share our own story, here we analyzed different sources and came up with ideas on how to solve one of the most relevant issues. So I think I should first start with saying that even without this reflection assignment, I've actually been thinking about what this course gave me so far. It is not only the editing skills or the knowledge about the multi-model projects and how to make videos. It is also about how you make those videos, what makes it so attractive, and how can you tell a story effectively. Of course, I had quite a lot of challenges. I had to deal with the fact that I am not someone who is used to editing. I am also not someone who is good at presenting something in this multi-model model, basically. It is not something in my nature. I'd rather be in the frame, but as an actor, not only as the video maker or script writer. But thanks to this course, I actually got to be everything. I was the director, I was the video maker, I was the script writer, I was the actor myself, I was everything. And I think that is, it's really eye-opening to know how much work is put into each piece. And it is not easy. I started making a lot of videos and recording every moment of my life, every chance that I had. It was a challenge in itself, but I ended up liking it a lot. For me, personally, the most difficult part was probably sound, because working with sounds, I did not know that it would be so difficult. Every time you had to cut the video, make it shorter, or even change it for even a slightest second, the sound should be adjusted. Apart from that, other challenges include color grading, because even though we might catch the best moments with our cameras, it is not always possible to catch the best lighting. So working with lighting is another issue, but also color grading so that the initial work would look more presentable is another issue. I enjoyed working in front of the camera the most and I also enjoyed working with clients because we had one client for our final project. I've learned a lot of things not only about SMM, not only about video making, but also about myself. Thanks to this course, I've actually started to open up more, especially in front of the camera. I can now look into the camera and not cringe. Somehow I managed to do that. It was difficult. Also, I think I am overcoming my own concerns, my own insecurities, because even though I might look okayish in, in the camera, in the frame, I did not perceive myself as such in the beginning of the course. I did not, and it was 
a big struggle for me to finally get used to seeing myself in the frame, the way I look, the way I speak, and everything that I do. All of that seemed very uncomfortable. I think I made great progress for myself. I can notice that and I am very proud of myself and thankful to this course. If you watched this video till the end, thank you so much. My recommendation, take it. You will definitely not regret it. Yes, it might be time consuming. Yes, you might not know a lot of things and you have to keep up with the rest of the class, but I think it is worth it. So I would definitely recommend. And yeah, guys, challenge yourselves. I think what is the life if not without challenges? Bye!